Hi guys, welcome to the JavaScript Fundamentals Learning Path. My name is Dan Wellman, I'm a software developer from the UK and I work at Microsoft. In this course we're going to cover JavaScript from front to back and top to bottom. But why JavaScript? JavaScript is fun and as a programming language it's pretty easy to learn, so it's a great gateway to other languages. It's also very popular and is likely to continue to top the charts of most popular and most widely used language. It's been around since 1995, when it was created by Brendan Eich at Netscape. Originally, it was dismissed by serious developers as gimmicky and unstable. In the early years of this century, people began to realize how powerful it could be. The language has gradually stabilized with standardization and convergence in browser support. It can now run on the server as well as in clients with Node.js, and it continues to grow in language features and popularity. So let's take a peek at some of the things that we're going to cover throughout this course. The course is split up into seven different sections, and each section is split up into several individual lessons. The first section is an introductory section and looks at getting our development area for the course set up and some ultra fundamental aspects of the language that we'll be using frequently in our example code. In the second section, we move on to look at the basics of the language, the things that you probably want to learn first of all, including what variables are, what different data types the language supports, and what the different operators are and how they work, as well as some other fundamentals, such as what the this object refers to, what scope is, and what reserved words the language takes. In the third section, we move on to look at how we can control the flow of executions within our programs, and focus on constructs such as loops, conditionals, and timers. In the fourth section, we move on to look at how we'll use the different data types in JavaScript, such as how we can work with strings, arrays, objects, and functions. We also take a look at dates and times, and the math object. In section five, we start to deviate from the core JavaScript language and look at how we can work specifically with the DOM of HTML pages. We cover how to select and manipulate HTML elements and how to work with events triggered in the DOM. We continue looking at JavaScript on the web as opposed to the core language in section six, this time looking at some popular and useful browser APIs, including geolocation, web storage, and the history API. We finish up the course in section seven with a look at some advanced aspects of the language. We look at the object constructor from which all objects in JavaScript are derived, as well as how to create custom objects. We also cover Ajax, regular expressions, and closures. We then move on to look at some object-oriented aspects of the language, such as inheritance and mix-ins, before finishing up with a look at a couple of popular and useful patterns, the module and PubSub. Don't worry if you've never written a single line of JavaScript before. By the end of the course, you'll be able to work with the language to leverage its strengths and steer clear of its weaknesses. And don't worry if you don't know any other programming languages. All concepts required to understand JavaScript are explained in full. If you've got any questions or comments, I'd love to hear them. So please feel free to drop me a tweet. I'm at Dan Wellman. So see you in the first lesson. Thanks for watching.